Hey what's up guys, this is my review of Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. When Ghost of Tsushima launched back in 2020, I thought it was a near perfect game. So obviously leading up to the launch of the Director's Cut, I had high expectations. And let me say up front, if you love Ghost of Tsushima last year, you're going to love the Director's Cut. The total length of the expansion is about 10 hours and does a really good job expanding upon the story of Jin and his efforts to stop the Mongol invasion. Now I'm going to be talking about the story but I won't dive into any major spoilers. So Jin stumbles upon these new Mongols we later find out called shamans and they come from Iki Island. We also found out they are being led by the eagle and she has made this poison and wants to bring it over to the mainland and conquer all of Japan. If I'm being honest, I didn't really like the main villain because I thought she was kind of hollow as a character. I think she falls into the stereotypical bad guy who wants to destroy the world without any real motives on why. But at the same time, I wasn't expecting a lot of character development with her since the main story is only about three and a half to four hours long. Now, I wanna talk about the graphics because Sucker Punch really made this game even more beautiful than the PS4 version, if that's even possible. You can definitely tell a difference between last year's version and the director's cut on PlayStation 5. Even the way sweat drips down, the character's faces looks more realistic. Another thing Sucker Punch did an excellent job at is fully integrating the capabilities of the DualSense. The gameplay in Ghost of Tsushima really makes you feel like a samurai, but on PlayStation 5, it takes it to a whole new level. This game has some of the best gameplay I've ever experienced in my entire life. I want to take a second here to talk about Iki Island itself. The opening moments of being on Iki Island is literally breathtaking, and then you're surrounded by monkeys, which just made the island so much better in my opinion. I thought that was a nice addition, it was really cool. Another thing on the island are the enemies. We face the same enemies from the main game, but there are something unique about the enemies this go around and that's the shamans In almost every encounter with the mongols on Iki island you have to deal with the shamans the shamans shout chants at their allies making them extra motivated to kill you i thought this was really smart for the developers to add to shake things up especially since we're pretty much facing the same enemies from the main game it kind of forces you to find and kill the shamans first so the other enemies aren't as overpowered as they otherwise would be this expansion also dives into Jin's past traumas i love well-written and developed characters and sucker punch definitely delivered without giving away too much Jin is forced to relive his father's death and just the way the story unfolded was top notch now i will admit i only played the main story i didn't really dive into side content until after i beat the main story there was one side activity in particular that i thought was awesome it was this dueling tournament i guess you can call it basically it's the same as a regular duel except this time your steel katana is replaced with a wooden one it's also a lot more strategic than regular duels because once you hit your opponent you have to stop and wait for the judge to let you continue you can't just button mash and keep hitting your opponent over and over also each enemy's moves and attacks differently so you have to be patient and study your enemies for any weaknesses the only problems i had with the game is that there isn't a whole lot of cutscenes in the main story there's a lot of times where there's characters talking to each other and the camera kind of just zooms out and the characters are just talking and they just stand there and don't really move which kind of just looks unfinished like maybe the developers didn't have enough time to work on that aspect of the game since they're probably working from home so i'll give them the benefit of the doubt but besides that i didn't really have any issues with the expansion i want to end my review by talking about what's been pretty controversial about this dlc and that's the price is this game really worth the 30 dollars upgrade in my opinion it is not now let me explain so is the upgrade overall worth 30 dollars for someone who does everything possible in the expansion so for someone who plays the main story all the side activities you know everything absolutely it's not worth it to me because i only played the main story and since the main story is only about four hours i can't really justify it to me if the upgrade was about 20 dollars for ps5 i think that price is more justifiable for people who only played the main story but overall as a complete package i do believe ghost of tsushima director's cut is worth the 30 dollars price tag now that we've covered everything i want to rate my experience with ghost of tsushima director's cut overall this was a really great experience and i'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. it falls a little short compared to the main game which i gave a 9 out of 10 simply because it was just a little bit too short but overall it's a fantastic experience and if you are a fan of ghost of tsushima i highly recommend the director's cut guys thank you so much for watching my review i really appreciate it what do you guys think about the dlc 
Have you gotten a chance to check it out? If you have, what are your thoughts? Leave your opinions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.